know where there's any tracker footage in Greenland. In Norway, I know there would be some up here in Svalbard. Hi, and welcome to another daily challenge video. Yesterday, I started off really badly. I had a round in Mexico and I guess Bolivia. I uh, didn't really know where I was. Uh, the other four rounds in uh, Brazil, Serbia, Israel and Malaysia were near perfect scores. So by the first round, I did get a decent uh, silver score of 20,000 points. Uh, okay, let's see if I can do better today. Uh, hoping for five perfect scores. Let's see if I can at least get five very good scores. Okay, start off with some icebergs. That's raw. Um, that's really all the information we have. Where is this sun? South. So, that's, this is either going to be somewhere in Canada or Greenland, I think. He's wearing, uh, that's the North Face. Uh, I guess you can get uh, by they buy everywhere. I know you can definitely buy it in Norway. Oh, where else? I, I, I don't think this is Norway at least. In the only place that it could be if it, if it was Norway is Svalbard, uh, but I don't think it's there. Even though I know that there is some uh, some tracking footage up there. go in the other direction as well just to see if there's anything if there's, a, if there's any built up areas behind here I don't know where to where to guess to be honest. So around I don't know where there's any tracker footage in Greenland. In Norway I know there would be some up here in Svalbard. I'm guessing there's loads in Canada as well. Or or even Alaska. I think I'll leave my mark there. I don't really know where we are. Okay, it was Greenland, uh, but on the other side. So, um, not a bad, uh, bad score, I guess. Uh, this one, I've, I have a feeling that this is uh, going to be Russia. something with a bridge and the uh, scenery and a building Main line there as well M064, so is that the uh, name of the road? Or, no, that's the name of the bridge. Moss something. Moss's Bridge. It 
but it's definitely going to be a rough show. Okay, so uh, this is a road between Moscow and Vladivostok. There's Moscow there and Vladivostok there. Um, so that just leaves a stretch of about, uh, I don't know, five, six thousand miles. So I don't know where we are, but we are on the main road between Moscow and Vladivostok. Crossing a river, and we were going almost north-south and to the west. Could be anywhere, really. Gonna leave my marker over here and hope I'm in the right area. Oh, that was even further east. That's a bridge we're crossing. Oh, that's the Moscow Vladivostok uh, sign that we saw. That was the road number. I didn't see the road number anywhere. Um, the only thing. Um, so there's also a bridge uh, 64, as far as I could see, uh, but there's no no bridge number. I didn't see a town name on it. Okay, uh, so yeah, very far away uh, again. That was not the easiest of rounds. Uh, uh, this one. I was initially going to say it looks like Bulgaria, but looking at this, not entirely sure. I can't really move either. So we, there's no EU plates on that car. Back to the beginning. Things, these houses look more like something I would expect in uh, Japan. I'm not sure about that one license plate. A bit of writing here. Just a bag of something. Oh, hang on. Writing there. That looks like. Are going to be Chinese or Japanese characters? I can't see any any Japanese characters there, but it could be just kanji. I mean, there's only a couple of uh, characters. Ah, oh, there we go. Ah, no, oh, hey, this is um, South Korea. So we have some South Korean characters. Quite hilly. Um, guessing we're quite far north, maybe.
I don't think there's anything else uh, to suggest where it is. I'll just leave a marker there, hope I'm close. Okay, um, not too far off. Um, oh, so I'll take that one. Okay, uh, this one. When you're up, I've seen those, uh, I've seen these before, but I don't know where. Yeah, there's a junction coming up here. Of course, Rams. Or Belgium. But there's no, I can't, oh, actually there is a ditch running along here, which you see in Belgium. Oh, no. no, it's uh, neither, it's uh, Luxembourg. 113. Oh, it's Luxembourg. One one three is here. So one one three just uh, run uh, uh, run uh, small distance there. Oh yeah, in town. Okay, let's go back to the beginning. But that's this junction, so we probably about there. Okay, twelve meters, perfect score. So that was uh, that was a good round after having all these. Uh, uh, previous rounds where I didn't have a clue where we were, uh, apart from which country. Uh, but it, it, even in the last round, it was uh, quite difficult to, to get the country right. Uh, if I hadn't seen that one sign with uh, some Korean on, I wouldn't have known. Uh, this one, I'm not sure yet, uh, but uh, it could be India or it could be Bangladesh. That writing there. Oh no, it's, uh, it's going to be India because I just noticed the blur. So it's, uh, this is a new uh, coverage from India. Okay, it says Delhi there and Sarah's Poo there. Oh, find Delhi.
I think that's a serious poo. Oh, there we go, serious poo. I might have seen it first, zoomed in more, but still pretty close. So uh, after <laughs> pretty difficult rounds, um, I managed to get two really good rounds at the end. But still, uh, still only a silver score. So quite far away in Greenland and in Russia. Not so bad in South Korea, to be honest. And then a perfect score in Luxembourg and a near perfect score in India. Uh, anyway, as always, if you like these videos and would like to see some more, please consider subscribing to the channel, also hitting the like button and leaving a comment. And I shall see you again tomorrow for another daily challenge. Bye for now.